We are finishing up our packing and about to head out for South Carolina to go to my second tactical games competition. So I wanted to take a second and kind of talk about my expectations for this competition versus my first one back in November. So let's start with the fitness element. So on back in November when I did the my first tactical games in Lakeland, Florida, I came home feeling good and then two days later I did a deadlift workout um, and my low back locked up pretty bad. And then that's been about five months since then and the I've ended up having a lot of pain pretty consistently in my low back, my psoas, um, and my hips. So we sought out some you know professional help with physical therapist, chiropractor, got some massages, tried to see if we could pinpoint what was going on. We haven't really nailed it down yet, so uh, after I get home from this competition, I'm actually starting my rehab with a company called Active Life. Um, so when I did sign up for this competition, I was a little bit hesitant because there's certain movements that really hurt my body. It's mostly like deadlift motion type stuff. So I went ahead and signed up anyways because the Tactical Games introduced the light version. So worst case scenario, if something happens mid-comp and I feel like I can't f like do the physical element of a certain battle, um, I can kind of just opt out and then go to the light version, um, which just means like you can't, you're no longer qualified to podium and then you can't win prizes, but you can still do everything else and, you know, enjoy your weekend and um, have fun and challenge yourself. So that made it more of an option on the fitness element. The second thing is COVID. We, we moved down to Orlando about two months ago and the second we moved down, um, COVID kind of took over the, you know, the nation and all of the gyms got shut down. So since then, we have had access to two water jugs, one dumbbell each, one sandbag each, and a slam ball, and I think that's it. So our workouts have been um, all of those pieces of equipment, but the cool thing is that when we moved down to Orlando, we live in this area where there's a lot of hills. And so we've been able to do a lot of like running workouts on hills. Our apartment complex has stairs. We've done workouts where we do sprints upstairs or take the water jugs upstairs. So we've been rotating back and forth. So that element has been better. And I can't tell myself, but Derek has said that he feels like my cardio has gotten better. Um, and that I'm just pushing myself harder on workouts than I did back in November. So it could be something between actually having someone to work out with again, because I have worked out with by myself for the past couple of years. So having Derek to work out with has been pretty nice. And then the other element is that I've been uh, a lot better with my food. So one, trying to eat enough calories per day, but then also making sure that I'm eating one to two hours before I actually work out. So I've, I've been feeling better, which I think has helped me um, go faster. So I think leading up into this competition, I'm hesitant about the pain that I'm feeling and like hoping that I can get away with all of the movements. But on the other end, I think I'm gonna see myself move a little bit quicker uh, on, the, on the fitness side. And um, I'm trying to be really, really good about timing for food and I've you know I've laid out a plan so I'm like really hoping I can stick to that so that I'm properly fueling my body uh, throughout the weekend. On the firearms element I'm actually pretty I, I'm feeling pretty insecure. Um, when we came back from Lakeland I had a conversation with a good friend of mine and he gave me this really cool pep talk and he just like doesn't really compliment people that often so it definitely hit me but he was like you know i feel like if you trained really hard you could become a really good shooter so i came back really wanting to train a lot harder and then i got injured COVID happened since COVID happened we we really haven't been able to go to the range for the last five months. So it's like we were moving, all this stuff was happening. Um, so I've gone to the range probably like four, 
times in the last five months have not gotten a sufficient amount of training. Um, mostly concerned about my pistol shots. I went to the range last week and my pistol shots were, it's like I either digressed or I was just having a bad day, but either way, it definitely kind of put it in my head and I'm feeling like a little bit, uh, insecure about that. So I'm not ex super excited about going into this competition, feeling like I'm not a better shooter. Um, but it's also that reality of, I can't expect myself to be better at something that I didn't have time to train you know in this in this five month period so the expectations are i'm going to be the shooter that i am um however i have been able to do some dry fire work in our living room and so i do think what i'm going to see for myself at this competition that will be different from lakeland is i'm i think i'm going to be a little bit faster overall with my my manipulations and just being more confident in where things are and with my gear and also taking shots quicker in positions like prone where I know that I can hit them. So those are kind of my expectations going into this competition. Um, I'm also really excited to see how I perform in a complex scenario because this competition is being hosted at the GTI training facility, which is a decommissioned nuclear power plant. So we get to like go through buildings and have headlamps and go down fast ropes. And so I've never been able to do any of that stuff. So I am interested to see how I mentally handle uh, the complex uh, situation. So that's my expectations going into GTI. And I will most likely be doing an after action report to kind of walk you through what actually happened. So we'll see.